we have a new box from Testo. It's got the 330i in it. And the first thing I noticed when I op opened the lid was that it's actually spring-loaded and holds itself up and helps assist lifting of the lid. So that was pretty cool. Um, it also appears that we've got a compartment up here in the lid that allows it to uh, allows you to store several items up here which is pretty cool I've got a clear case up here got a pocket here for additional items and then it looks like we could have another clear cover for this side as well and then we've got several straps here for elastic straps that allow you to store some items in a tight retainer so that's the lid of the box it snaps closed up here in the box we've got your typical calibration and reference numbers we've got an instructional startup and safety book we've got a box here that has a charger in it it looks like we've got all different sorts of plugs for different international situations it comes with the uh, two-prong plug and then you've got a US plug and several other plug types set that aside and take a look here we've got a bag with some additional wafers filter wafers here we've got a flu probe with a short connector on it unlike the connector I have on my 320 which is by the way for sale if it hasn't sold by the time I post this video you've got your um, flu grommet whatever you want to call it to allow you to mount that to the flu pipe and then we've got a pr protective tip cover on the tip of the analyzer it looks a little different than the 320 but um, not too too much different and the star of the show is the 330i itself it's definitely a different different look than what I'm used to with the 320 and other combustion analyzers that I've played with it's got this bat wing shape to it on the end here we've got a USB plug with a cover on it we've got our water reservoir at the bottom and then your uh, probe connection under a protective cap here and then we've got an ambient temperature sensor under this little shroud right there below that we've got the charging port and I believe this is still a gas pressure port that you could connect to looks like we've got four large magnets on the back of the device there and um, if you look at the paperwork on this device there is some information that says that you can mount the machine on the probe itself uh, so let's see what else we can figure out here so I've got the Testo 330i app ready to go I'm going to go ahead and open that up Hit the power button and see if there's any charge on this. Looks like it's waiting to connect.
looked like it was ready to go, but it says it wasn't. Maybe there's not enough. Maybe there's not enough battery for it or something. I may have to put it on the charger before I can hook it up. Looks like we've connected. Alrighty. There we are. Alright. I'll be right back. All right, so we've got the device connected. I figured I'd go through some of the menu options here. Up here on the upper left, we've got the flame icon, which is where you're going to make access to your flue gas analysis, your draft, CO undiluted, differential pressure, and etc. Right now we're going to leave it on flue gas and hit cancel. On the upper right, we've got your settings and menu there. We've got reports. This is where you can input your company data. You could uh, select the format of what you're going to send off. I prefer PDF, but if you wanted to do CSV, you could input customer data. Looks like you can import contact data or delete all input down there below. You can add comments and pictures. So if you wanted to add a comment to the gas analysis or connect pictures, you could do that. We'll just go here, access to the camera, yes, and we could have a picture, in this case, 330i, on the wonderful yellow placemat. And then we could put comments on it if we wanted to. We're going to close that. One interesting little tidbit that I uncovered is this gas path check. Basically, it seems like a internal test of tightness of the device. Basically, you attach the gas cap, the cap that covers the tip of the probe, and you run this test, and it confirms whether you are tight or not. After you're done, it says, please remove sealing cap, which I just did. So, obviously being brand new, we would hope that that would pass inspection. We've also got device settings where you could change the language, English, Fran French, or Spanish, sensor diagnostics, um, sensor protect. Basically, that tells you at what level it will bypass the probe and automatically dilute the CO measurement to protect the sensor. And you could pick at what point it's going to do that. We've got our O2 reference at 3% height compensation. Basically it's going to adjust its measurements for altitude, barometric pressure, that sort of thing, absolute pressure. And from here, it looks like you can also turn off the 330i. If you had errors, you could go through the error list, device information, and a help menu. I'm going to close that up and drop down to the bottom left, the gear icon. You can configure, configure the measurement view basically very similar to what you would do with the other smart probes. Um, you can rearrange the temperatures and readings that you're dealing with by dragging them around. Your flu temperature, stack temperature, your O2 percentage, CO ppm, undiluted CO, CO2 excess air percentage, atmospheric temperature and efficiency percentage. 
you could delete that information or add additional points if you needed to. Those are the additional points that you could add. At this point, I don't think I will. Maybe we'll add draft because I don't remember seeing that on there. We don't want M bar. We want inches of water. And we'll confirm that. So that reconfigures the screen. So if we hit the center bottom play button, it will begin to operate the device with the um, readings on display and they will change and adjust as the system is reading information. I'm going to assume at this point that the little export arrow down there um, would take the current readings and add them to a report. If we hit it again, we could finish report. And we could take that information and export it to a customer, add pictures, and send it. I'm going to input my own email address just for fun at this point. Hit done and send it off. There it is. We're going to go ahead and send it. And we'll go ahead and stop the measurement by hitting the pause button. I'm going to jump over and check my email. There it is. And there is our report of the combust combustion analysis. Just wanted to see zeroing gas sensors. It gives us a little countdown up here on the corner, zeroing countdown. And we're done. So that's a pretty quick overview of the new Testo 330i. I'm looking forward to playing with it and running it through its paces out in the field. I will get additional video as I do that and post it when I get the video so you guys can see it in action in the field. As always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Check out iBleedR22.com, my new HVACR forum, and my website at www.hvacwithstevenreardon.com. Don't forget, you can use coupon code RARVID and get $10 off your purchase at TrueTechTools.com or the coupon code RARIDVM for $10 off your IDVM 510 meter. Thanks to the 100 Watt Vipers for allowing me to use their music also. You can search for my Facebook group at HVAC with Stephen Reardon or follow me on Twitter at Juvenile77. Thanks for watching.